In a dream of the night, I was wafted away to the moorlands of mist where the martyrs lay, where Cameron's sword and his Bible are seen, engraved on the stone where the heather grows green. T'was a dream of those ages of darkness and blood, when the minister's home was the mountain and wood, when in Wellwood's dark moorlands the standard of Zion, all bloody and torn, among the heather was lying. T'was morning, and summer's young son from the east lay in loving repose on the green mountain's breast. On ward law and cairn table, the clear shining dew glistened sheen among the heath bells and mountain flowers blew. And far up in heaven, in the white sunny cloud, the song of the lark was melodious and loud. And in Glenmuir's wild solitudes, lengthened and deep, was the whistling of plovers and the bleating of sheep. And well would sweet valley breathe music and gladness. The fresh meadow blooms hung in beauty and redness. Its daughters were happy to hail the returning, and drink the delights of green July's sweet morning. But ah, there were hearts shed as far other feelings, illumined by the light of prophetic revealings. We drank from the scenery of its beauty but sorrow, for they knew that their blood would be due it tomorrow. Twas the few faithful ones who with Cameron were lying, concealed among the mist where the heathful was crying. For the horsemen of Earl's Hall around them were hovering, and their bridle reins rang through the thin misty covering. Though their faces grew pale, and their swords were unsheathed, yet the vengeance that darkened their brows was unbreathed. With eyes raised to heaven, in meek resignation, they sung their last song to the God of salvation. The hills with the deep mournful music were ringing, the curlew and plover in concert were singing. But the melody died midst derision and laughter, as the hosts so ungodly rushed on to the slaughter. Though in mist and in darkness and fire they were shrouded, and the souls of the righteous stood calm and unclouded. Their dark eyes flashed lightning, as proud and unbending, they stood like the rock which the thunder is rending. The muskets were flashing, the blue swords were gleaming, the helmets were cleft and the red blood was streaming. The heavens grew dark and the thunder was rolling, when in well was dark moorlands the mighty were fallen. When the righteous had fallen and the combat had ended, a chariot of fire through the dark clouds descended. Its drivers were angels on horses of whiteness, and its burning wheels turned upon axles of brightness. A seraph unfolded its doors bright and shining, all dazzling like gold or the seventh refining. And the souls that came forth out of great tribulation have mounted the chariots and steeds of salvation. On the arch of the rainbow the chariot is gliding, through the paths of the thunder the horsemen are riding. Glide swiftly, bright spirits, the prize is before you, a crown never fading, a kingdom of glory.